Hello y'all and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two of my skincare, I guess you could call it a mini series. My first video focused on facial cleansers or face washes, toners and moisturizers. And this video is just gonna be about sunscreen skincare. So these are gonna be products that you can apply to help protect you when you're just out and about or when you're actually gonna be out in the sun for a full day like at the beach or at a outdoor event, something where you're going to be spending hours out in the sun, but you also want to protect your skin and not look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> so I'm going to be throwing some products your way. Hopefully you have at least heard of some of these brands. And if not, I hope that I'm introducing you to some options. If you are a melanated person, we definitely want to have some good skincare options that do not leave us looking ashy or looking nice and Caspery. So I'll go ahead and get into it. These are things that I have purchased. I will admit that most of them I've only used like once or haven't gotten to because they are relatively new. But they are things I will be trying and I will be doing an update video in the coming probably month or so giving you feedback on how well they've actually been working for me and what I, you know, any differences or results that I'm seeing from using the products. But for now, I just want to share them with you and kind of get some of the brands out there as well as just um, talk about my experience with the few that I have used. And like I said, everything that I'm going to be showing you is specifically for people of color, not just black people, but anybody with melanated skin who may be struggling using just the regular everyday sunscreen without having that that white cast. So I'll start with a brand that I don't know if people really know about the brand like that because I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it. And I've seen advertisements for it, but I just don't know if a lot of people really are on that brand right now. And maybe it hasn't gotten TikTok famous. I honestly am not on TikTok right now, but it probably hasn't gotten TikTok famous yet. And I probably need to buy it before it does and make sure I have it in stock because y'all go crazy when people put stuff on TikTok, even if it's been out for a while. So I'll start with the Kenlo brand here. And this is the Golden Rays Sunscreen. It is actually a sunscreen and skin tint. So it does kind of act like a moisturizer. Um, or I'm sorry, not a moisturizer, but a makeup, like a skin tint. And it comes in a variety. You get three different shades that you can choose from. There is pretty basic in terms of that. It's light, medium, and dark. I got the medium tint. And again, this is the Kenlo Golden Ray Sunscreen. It is a broad spectrum SPF of 50. It is also water resistant for up to 80 minutes. And a little bit about the brand, the Kenlo brand. This is actually a brand by um, Naomi Osaka, who is a tennis player. So you may have seen her. You may know who she is. I love the packaging in terms of the designs very beautiful and this again is the medium tinted and this is a mineral sunscreen i know you know they're either mineral or chemical sunscreen this these are mineral sunscreen products so her line is a mineral sunscreen product so this tinted face lotion it offers uv and blue light um, protection that is something that's relatively i'm not gonna say relatively new but a lot of people didn't really think about like the blue light protection and that's exposure from like other light sources other than just like the sun and so a lot of products do focus on that now but that was just kind of like a new thing in terms of damage and again when we think about sunscreen and sun damage a lot of times we think of things that we initially see like getting sun burnt or maybe peeling skin sometimes if you're out in the sun and it gets, you know, you get too burned and you might have skin peel as, as well as having like the, you know, actual burn. But there's also things that can happen internally that we don't necessarily see on the surface. So those other layers of skin can be getting damaged, even though it may not show up immediately on the main layer that we see externally so that's something to keep in mind so when we're talking about protection from the sun it's not just the fact of oh i don't want to get darker or you know end up with a sun burn on the outside it's also we don't we want to protect those uh ex those internal layers as well beyond what we can just see so the kenlo golden ray sunscreen again is a tint and you can see the color here it has a pump it's pretty um 
I would say it's pretty kind of watery. Um, not in a bad way, just that you know, so you can see what that looks like. It looks very similar to, you can see how, how watery it is because it's running, but I will rub it in a little bit. And I just use my hands to apply it on my face. It does oxidize a little bit. Now it is nighttime, I'm not going anywhere. Otherwise I would, you know, demo on my face, but I don't want to have to do all that and then have to go back and do a whole facial situation, cleansing and all that before I go to bed. But you can see what it looks like. Like I said, I am going to do a full video after I do full trials. I have worn this one time before out for the day. And one thing I can say is that it did stay on. Um, I did. I wasn't sweating or anything. I was just out and about. But it dries down very nicely. It does oxidate a little bit, so it gets a little bit darker, but not much. And it also, um, you know, it did what it was supposed to do. Like it didn't get oily and greasy. I didn't have a white cast, and I just put it on after I did my regular skincare, which consists of again cleansing, toning, and then moisturizing. So I didn't have any issues with it conflicting with anything, peeling, or doing anything crazy. So it worked just fine for me. And you can see a little bit of a shine, which is probably one because I have lotion on my hands, but two because it does have sunscreen in it. So, but this gives you the color if you want a little coverage um, on top of the fact that you want your sun protection. This gives you like an all in one situation. So, that is something to go for. It feels very moisturizing, like even wiping that part off my skin is still very smooth. You can kind of see what it looks like on the tissue to get an idea. Right now, this particular product is on sale at walmart.com for, and you can purchase these products, the Kenlo line, you can purchase the products from Walmart in store and online. So again, affordable and accessible. It's on sale for $5.98 at walmart.com. I don't know if the price would be the same in store. You know, you guys know sometimes online in store can vary and I don't know if they, if they would price match it. Um, if you do show them the online price. However, again, it's on sale online for $5.98, but when it's not on sale, the full retail is $11.99. So still super affordable. You get 0.95 ounces as well. Next from the Kinlo line, we have the Always Golden um, Body Lotion, which is pretty much equivalent to like the, the sunscreen lotion that you will put on when you just go out for the rest of your body. This one is specifically for the face, obviously, and then this is for the rest of your body. This is an SPF of 30. I think that you can get this in either SPF 30 or 50. I got the 30 because right now I'm not going to be going, you know, this is not good. This is for like every day. This is not for like me going to sit, lay on the beach or something. I'd probably get the 50 if I was going to be out an extended amount of time. But this is the SPF 30. And it has a little bit of a golden glow. But the other thing that it says here is non-greasy. Again, it's a mineral sunscreen for melanated skin. It has nourishing jojoba, sapphire, and antioxidant green tea. So it's not supposed to leave a white cast. It has UVA and UVB protection. And that's that blue light. Naturally golden colored with iron oxides. So again, this is the Always Golden Body Lotion from the Kenlo brand. And it was also on sale on walmart.com for $5.98. Regular retail is $16.99. You can order this from the Kenlo website or the walmart.com website or in store at Walmart. And last from the Kenlo line, there are the body stickers. And what these do is they turn blue when it's time for you to reapply your sunscreen. So these are great. You can put them on your body. So like you would put them on some part that's something that's going to be exposed to the sun. So like let's say you're going to the beach. You can stick it on your arm, leg, wherever. Or you can put it on your phone or your purse. Something that's going to be out in the sun exposure the same way you are. And when it's time to change your, um, to reapply your sunscreen, this will turn blue. So it's just a sticker and it's like a reminder sticker. So I thought these were cute. They were actually on sale for 98 cents. You get a 10 pack 
Um, I think the regular price was like $4.99 or something. So I would say check walmart.com first. You'll probably get the best prices, at least from what I've seen. But you can also go on the Kenlo website and order. There are also other things in the line. They have an aloe cooling gel for like if you do happen to get sunburned or just if you've been outside all day, you want to apply that to just kind of cool your skin down. Apply that aloe. So they do sell that. And they also have a like coconut oil or some kind of coconut that I wanted, but then it was sold out. So I was kind of salty about that, but I think it's back in stock on the Amazon site, but it was sold out on the Kenlo site at the time that I was looking. So I may eventually get that just to try it out as well, but I will be coming back with reviews after I do a good trial on that. Like I said, I've worn the skin tint once. It seemed to be okay. I'm going to try it a few more times. I definitely am not one of those people who just want to say I did it once and it's the greatest thing in the world. I want to really truly uh, test it out so I can give you an honest review. Next in the sunscreen category, I have a couple of things that seems to be like a newer trend, which is the actual lip sunscreen. Now I know there are other brands that make uh, lip balms and, and things for your that provides sun protection. I'm focusing on the things that are made for melanated skin because again, we're trying to combat that ashy look or that that white cast that a lot of sunscreen that wasn't specifically formulated for melanated skin can tend to leave. So that's the only reason I'm focusing on these items versus some of the others that are just out there. Um, first, since we had that, that lip balm, then I'll talk about the K-Skin lip balm and this is actually from Winnie Harlow's brand so if you're not not familiar with Winnie Harlow she's a model she has um vitiligo which is similar which is the same thing that um Michael Jackson had which caused that skin discoloration that's why his skin was so much lighter um she became famous as a model for that because she was of course different and that was a different standard of beauty because she wanted to prove the point that, you know, you didn't have to look like everybody else to still be considered beautiful and to make it and be a, a model. And she's a, you know, major model right now, fashion model. And so she created this line, K-Skin, based off a situation that she experienced on one of her photo shoots that was, you know, outdoors. I think they were on the beach or whatnot. And because she did not have the proper sunscreen applied, like on, on set when they applied the sunscreen, she actually got some very severe sunburn, which worsened her condition, her skin condition in those areas that got that extra sunburn. So she decided to create a sunscreen or skin, sun care line so that other people would hopefully not end up in that same situation. So this is K-Skin Sun Care. This is the Owl Lip Balm. Again, it's an SPF of 30. Now, this one is just clear. Since I purchased this, she has expanded her lip balm line to have some colors. I feel like one of them is almost like the color. This is the Fenty lip lip gloss I'm wearing right now. But I think that she does have one that has a, a red, a deeper red, and then kind of more of like a strawberry um, watermelon type lighter red as well. Pinky red color as, along with the clear. This particular one by itself is $14. And I know that you can also purchase the trio, which has the clear and the two colors. I don't remember the price of that. I purchased this from Sephora. I'm not sure if the trio is available on Sephora, but I know you can buy the individual colors on Sephora as well. And they are again, $14 a piece. The, this particular line, the K-Skin line also has more than just the lip care. It also has, you know, full body care as well. So you can get the lotions and all of that from her line if that's something that you want to do. I just happen to have the lip balm, but I may eventually branch out and try the other products, products as well. Last but certainly not least, we have from the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Pop Sun Gloss Lip lip gloss had a drool blank there um this is sun gloss so it's a 50 spf broad sun broad spectrum spf and this is just a lip gloss same brand um the color is called clear skies because it's just clear and i actually ordered this online from ulta for $8.99 and this is what it looks like it's unscented 
And again, it's just a clear lip gloss. So you could probably use this to layer if you wear regular lipstick. You can use this to layer. Or if you just want to put this on your bare lips just so that they're protected and also keeps them moisturized. This also, this not only protects your lips from the sun with the SPF 50, but it also hydrates and plumps your lips. It has hydro hydroclonic acid and tripeptides for um, that hydration and the plumping as well. So for $8.99, that's not really a bad price. I Again, this is something that I haven't tried yet, but I do want to give it a try. And I will report back. And it's also vegan and cruelty-free. So I know people are looking for that as well. And it does not contain any fragrance or parabens. Or oxy oxybenzone. Or what's this last one here? Octinoxate. Noxate. So basically none of the bad stuff that you don't want. <laughs> it doesn't have. But for $8.99, I don't think that's a bad deal. You get 0.13 ounces. I ordered it off Ulta. I think for, for Ulta at least, it was considered an online only purchase. I don't know if it's available in store anywhere. I didn't see it in store in Ulta. But I don't know if it may be in store somewhere or if you can find it in another store but online for $8.99 not a bad price again something that i'm going to try out but that's all i have for you for the sunscreens you i can also recommend and i have worn this one as well the fenty beauty because i did talk about that in my cleanser toner and moisturizers the fenty beauty moisturizer also has is also serving as a sunscreen as well and it is safe for coral reefs and you also get that spf protection so that's another one if you're already using the fenty skincare you can add that moisturizer to your uh sunscreen it serves as a sunscreen as well as a moisturizer so that's just another one that i want to toss out there um, and I believe I have the price for that one. It is by itself $39 um, for the Fenty Hydrovisor Invisible um, Invisible Face Moisturizer. And it has an SPF of 30. So you can also purchase that. And like I said, it serves as a moisturizer and a sunscreen. If there's anything else that you know of that maybe I missed or any other brands particularly uh, that focus on melanated skin so that we don't have that ashy look and that Casper look, please feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you've tried any of the brands that I have shown you, please be sure to give me your feedback down in the comments as well. Again, like I said, most of them you've probably heard of. Kinlo, I just don't feel like people know about it. And I think it is a good brand. And so I just want to throw it out there. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of them. But I'd love to work with any of you. But I'm not sponsored with, by anyone. But I will be trying and giving um, a deeper review as I use the products and have more feedback to give. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.